Una vaca de... You just remain to... Lakini continue. But endelea. After two months. Bado miezi miwili. After three months. Miezi mitatu. Mwezi wa nane, mwezi wa tisa kitaeleweka. Eighth and ninth months. Mambo yataeleweka. Nasema adui atakapokuja kama mafuriko. Mungu atainua viwango. When the enemy comes like a flood. Adui akija kama mafuriko. The spirit of the Lord. Roho Bwana. Who lift up a standard. Atainua viwango. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a time of trumpets. Kuna wakati wa Kuna wakati wa mafuriko wa flood. Yeah. There's a time of flood. Yeah. When the wind blows. Upepo unapovuma. When the flood comes. Mafuriko yanapokuja. You say I'm dead. Unasema nimeshakwisha hivyo. That's when. Lakini hapo ndipo. Roho wa Mungu. Will lift up a standard. Atainua viwango. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why James said. Ndicho Yakobo alichukua anasema. Hesabu yote kuwa ni furaha. Because you know that. Kwa sababu unapojua. When the enemy will come and attack. Adui akija na kushambulia. And bring a flood. Na kuleta mafuriko. God will raise me up. Mungu ataniinua. God will raise my standard. Mungu ataniinua viwango vyangu. Who was called barren. Yule ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Tasa. I like this look one. Mimi napenda hii iliyoandikwa katika Luka. Inabeba miujiza mikubwa miwili kwenye Biblia. Luka moja yule mtu ambaye alikuwa mzee, mwanamke alikuwa mzee, walikuwa tasa. Lakini kwa vitu vya ufalme, wakapata ujauzito. Alafu Mariam, ambaye alikuwa ni bikira, pasipokuwa kumjua mtu, lakini kwa roho wa Mungu, Mungu anasema, basi utatunga mimba. And your child na mtoto wako will be great. atakuwa mkuu. And here Nae. even your cousin Elizabeth. Hata ndugu yako Elizabeth. She is also pregnant. Naye pia ni mjamzito. The one who was called barren. Yule aliyeitwa Tasa. Is also pregnant. Naye pia ni mjamzito. Of 6 months. Wa miezi sita. Why? Kwa nini? Because there is nothing impossible with God. Kwa sababu God. hakuna kisichowezekana kwa Mungu. They were both different situations. Wote walikuwa katika hali tofauti. And both were impossible. Na wote walikuwa hayawezekani. God says. Lakini Mungu anasema. There's nothing impossible with God. Hakuna kisichowezekana kwa Mungu. And I want to tell you. Nami nataka nikwambie. When the kingdom of God comes down. Falme wa Mungu utakaposhuka. Nothing is impossible. Hamna kisichowezekana. Nothing is impossible. Hakuna kisichowezekana. Nothing is impossible. Hakuna kisichowezekana. Tell your neighbor. Mwambie jirani yako. Don't cry. Usilie. As if you be in trial forever. Kana kwamba uko kwenye majaribu milele. When you are in trial Unapokuwa majaribuni Jua ya kuwa Mungu atakwenda kuinua viwango. Haleluya. 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 Benefits. Benefits. Faida of trials za majaribu. Amen. Ni nyingi. That's why we should count it joy. Ndio maana lazima tuhesabu kuwa ni furaha. Don't cry as a man of the the uh, the, the world. Usilie kama mtu wa dunia. Na watu wa dunia. Even when you are in a trial. Hata unapokuwa majaribuni. Cry with one eye. Lia na jisho moja wazi. While the other one is watching. Wakati jengine liko wazi linaangalia. Where the promotion will come from this. Pale ambapo nitapandishiwa cheo. For my Bible says. Maana Biblia yangu inaniambia. Out of darkness. Kutoka gizani. Out of darkness. Kutoka gizani. God created light. Mungu aliumba nuru. When you have a problem. Unapokuwa na shida. When you have a persecution. Unapokuwa na mate When you have a trial, unapokuwa na majaribu. You are flesh and blood. Wewe ni mwili na damu. But cry with one eye. Lakini lia jisho moja likiwa wazi. One eye. Jisho moja. The other eye. You are searching to know. Lina vinjari vinjari kujua. Any promotion that will come from this. Kama kuna cheo chochote kitatokea huko. You can't it joy or rest. Basi unahesabu furaha tayari. That's the kingdom of God. Huo ndio ufalme wa Mungu. Hakuna mateso ambayo hayana faida ndani ya Mungu. There are no trials that do not have benefits in God. Linda imani yako maana ndio mtaji wako. Take care of your faith because that is your capital. Kama unaanguka kwenye mateso unapoteza imani maana yake mtaji wako umeanguka kwenye maji. If you fall in trials and you lose your faith it means that your capital has fallen Tena into water. Kwenye majaribu ndio ipanue zaidi. Well, while you are in trials that's the best time to expand your faith. So that you may get the benefit of that problem. Shout the shout of joy unto Jesus. Shout unto Jesus. Number 
cha kwanza. Alikuwa tasa kwa muda mrefu. He was barren for a long time. People would have think that God has forgotten the person. Watu wangefikiri kwamba Mungu amemsahau tu. Kwamba wamesahuliwa. Ndao walikuwa wenye haki na wasio na mawao. Mungu watu walifikia wamesahuliwa. Lakini jua tu that delay kwamba kule kucheleweshwa was because of what they carried ilikuwa ni kwa sababu ya kile walichokibeba the calling of this boy wito wa huyu kijana huyu mvulana could have not allowed this parent to have that child before the coming of christ usingeruhusu wazazi hao kupata mtoto kabla ya kuja kwa kristo amjaipata hiyo sidhani kama mmeelewa walichelewa kuzaa they delayed to give birth because that child would not have been born before the season of Jesus being born had come. Because that was the one who would have been able to prepare the way for Christ. If he would have been born way before, he would have been a normal person without any job. Wale aina watoto ambao unawazaa baadaye unasema twende kwenye birth control bwana watoto wanakuwa wengi kazi ni kula tu vichwa ni unga hamna kitu twende tufunge tumbo This is the type of kids that you give birth and they become many and they become a burden to you to an extent you say now now they have to apply birth control because these guys they just eat and finish my money Lakini huyu but this one his delay it was to wait for the season of Christ because him was the only one to prepare the way for Christ there was no way he was going to be born before there were many prophets there were many men of God but him this child he was supposed him and Jesus they were supposed to be in Luke 1 so that when he would go to Elizabeth once Mary sees Elizabeth and when they meet with Elizabeth once they greet each other the Holy Spirit in Jesus in the womb of Mary then they would meet together and connect the Bible says he was filled with the Holy Spirit while he was in the womb Listen, let me tell you. The Bible translators are here. Bible scholars. They know that season. Before that time, people had the Holy Spirit upon them. But the time came. Jesus was in the womb of Mary. He did not lay hand upon her. He did not lay hand. He just went. When he greeted, automatically it happened. Biblia na sema. Then Toto akacheza. Toto akacheza. Immediately. Na mara. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. Alikuwa mjazo na Roma takatif. Shout unto the Lord. We unajazo kwa sababu wa mekuweki amkono. You are being filled because they have laid hand upon you. But while it was just a womb and a womb, and the baby jumped, they knew from their womb, and then he got the impartation. That's why he went and explained to him as a crazy person. Hallelujah! When he saw him afar, and he said, "This is the Lamb of God. This is the Lamb of God." Who takes away the sins of men? I saw him in the spirit. The stone, the stone was not upon him. They knew each other from the womb. Ah, amen. Let me tell you. There's nothing that will stop me from preaching the gospel. Because I was also, I also jumped when I heard the voice of God. I the, when you hear the voice of God, you're just strengthened. Problems do not trouble you. Death doesn't trouble you. Because you were already stirred by the power of the Holy Spirit. You cannot do it twice. You cannot do it twice. Once you jump up through the Holy Spirit, no problem will trouble you any. People will rise against you, but you'll be calm. You'll be calm. It cannot happen twice. Amen. 
If the Holy Spirit already is charged, then hunger will not trouble you. Neither words of people, neither sickness, neither human beings, because the Holy Spirit had already worked on you. The delay of that child. It was a special mission and not anything else. It's not that he was forgotten. The problem that he went through is not that God has forgotten you. It is because of the call. He would not have prepared a way of somebody who whereby it's not there. Even Elizabeth. And he say, Ata Elizabeth, the one who was called barren, yule alia ito tasa, naipia ni mjauzito, mboja ni kumbie. Sai mefika. The time has come. Then your barrenness is going to be removed. You're going to be called a person. The Lord will meet you. Mwenye matunda, unaenda kuzaa, na kuzaa, You're going to bear forth, and to bear forth, and to bear forth, and to bear forth. You will bear forth. And you will not bring forth a normal child. You will bring forth a child who will leap from the womb. When the enemy comes like a flood, the enemy raises standards. The enemy raises standards. When the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of God will raise the standard. Aduye akija kama mawe Mungu atainua viwango. The Spirit of God. Roho Mungu. Raise the standard. Atainua viwango. Wakati watu walikuwa wanajua kwamba huyu anakufa sasa. When people knew that this one is dying. This is the end. There's no voice. Oh. Taratibu. Bit by bit. Bit by bit. Mungu anaraise standard. God was raising standards. And it starts to fly and fly. Inaanza kupepea. Starts to go high and high. You know, Elizabeth was so shameful to an extent. What will people say now? I'm pregnant in this old age. What will people say? You know, there are other blessings you even feel ashamed to say. Because if you say they will see that I'm proud of myself, you have to hide a little bit. When she brought forth the child, the Bible says that the news spread all the way to Judea. That cow and that old man. I said, Oh, that old lady and that old man have, have brought forth a child. Dumb. Dumb. That man who was dumb. Oh. The wife was pregnant. They have a child. Let's go see them. Let's go see them. Let's go see them. Let me prophesy unto you. The time is coming. People who laughed at you. What will you They will say, "Let's go and see." What I say, "My able to end to Kaone." Oh, and you will say, "To end to Kaone." Wait now, wait. To end to Kaone. And you will say. Now to say, when they are coming, you will say, come and see. 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 The one who was barren, come and see. Come and see. Come and see. The whole Judea, the whole Arusha, come and see. Kuna faida. Kuna faida. There are benefits. The way the enemy is really fighting against you. Little does he know that that's when God lifts you up. The whole Judea came. And they say, hey, 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 hey. The child of Zacharias. The child of Zacharias. The child of Zacharias. Let us carry him. Oh, Zacharias. This is a little Zacharias. This is Zacharias Jr. And Elizabeth said, Wait. His name is not Zachariah Jr. Sisi Mungu ametuona. 
God has seen us. Uh, it's not that you'll be called God will remember you. No, God has already remembered us. His name will be John. His name will be called John. And I say, what? John. Johanna. In, a, in your generation, we've never heard such a name. This woman is confused. And say, let's go to Mze. Mze, what is the name of a child? Mm. Say, let's take a tassi up. And a and the, and the tablets, and he started to write that all should know this woman is not confused. And then took the tablet and he started to write John. The meaning of John in Hebrew is Jehovah graciously gives. Jehovah graciously Utoa kwa neema jingi. Ana ni mpachi. Yehova utoa kwa neema tele. So he was writing. Kwa ya likuwa naandika. I guess in Hebrew he was writing. Kwa kibrania. Jehovah. Anaandika hivo hivo. Graciously. Yehova. Gives. Kwa neema jingi utoa. Apo apo. Akamalisi. Kwa nasema sikupe mtoto na kurudisha na sauti. And God said I'm not only giving you a child. I restore back your voice. Jehovah. Jehovah graciously gives toa kwa neema nyingi atakupa kwa neema na kwa wingi na benefits ya kuchelewa itakuemo he will graciously give unto you in abundance including I the benefits of delay keep on writing Jehovah mimi na shauri endelea kuandika Jehovah anatoa kwa neema nyingi sikiliza nikwambie listen let me tell when the enemy comes like a flood adui akija kama mawimbi the Lord lift up a standard. Wana atainua viwango. Alimupa mtoto. He gave him a child. Alieja aroma takatifu tangu tumboni. Who was tumboni. full of the Holy Spirit from the womb. Sikiliza benefit. Listen to the benefit. Sikiliza high standard. Listen to the high standard. Alioipewa. That he was given. E alieitu atasa. The one who was called barren. The tongue loosed. Ulimi ukachia. And he spoke. Na kanena. When he spoke, Aliponena, immediately, mara tu, number one, cha kwanza, he became a worshiper. Akafanyika kuwa mtu he became abudu. a worshiper. Akafanyika kuwa mtu wa kuwa abudu. He praised the Lord. Aka msifu buwana. He worshiped the Lord. Aka muabudu buwana. Number two, la pili, he became a prophet. Akafanyika kuwa nabi. God raising a standard. Mungu anainua viwango. Before that miracle, kabla ya mujiza ule, he was a priest. Alikuwa ni kuhani. But then, lakini baada ya hapo, God makes him also a prophet. Mungu anamfanya kuwa nabi pia. And he started prophesying about the coming and the things that are coming. Akaanza kutoa unabi kwa mambo ya na yokuja. In the restoration of the fivefold ministry. Katika urejesho wa uduma zile tano. Prophets are called to say the things that are coming. Manabi wameito kusema mambo ya na yokuja. Sio wale wana kuambia unavaa branye kundi, unavaa chupi nye usi. I know it. Uh, not the ones who are telling you about your undergums. I mean, that's obvious. When I, had, when I was putting up my black pants and a black bra at home, didn't I know it? Those are not prophets. These are prophets that are prophet. He started talking about the coming ministry of the Son, but the prophets, coming ministry of Jesus Christ. Prophets are talking about the key things of the kingdom, about the ministry of Christ he that are coming. He was filled with the Holy Spirit and power Ali again. Not upon tena. him, Shio juu yake. but inside of Sasa him. Ndani yake. Do you hear those? And the Son na mwana became great. Akafanyika kuwa mkuu. Shida sio kuzaa. The problem is not giving Shida birth. Unazaa nini? The problem is what are you giving birth? Unazaa ni kuzaa. Giving birth is giving Lakin birth. Unazaa nini? But what is it that comes out? You are man. That's the most important thing. Kwa hiyo usiona unachelewa. So don't see that you are delayed. Unaandaliwa. You're being prepared. Unaandaliwa. You're being prepared. Ili uwe patient. So that uwe na hiyo patience na huo hiyo sabuni itaku perfect. It will make you to be complete. After that, you will lack nothing. Hallelujah. I see John's are coming. God will give you in abundance. In abundance. 
alikuwa mtoto wa kawaida. He was not a normal child. Nikwambie nini ndugu? What can I tell you? Nikwambie ningekuwa na muda ningekwambia habari ya Yusufu. If I had time I would have told you about Joseph. Mtaji wake ilikuwa ni maono yake. His capital was his only vision. Maana anatupwa ndugu zake wanamkanyaga. Because he was cast Mara away. Mara brothers uh, wanted Mara to kill him. Mara mtumwa. They sold him he became a slave. Mara naenda kwa Potiphar. And he went to Potiphar's Mara house. Mara nadanganywa. And he was Mara uh, natupwa gerezani. He was cast into prison. Lakini maono yake. But his vision. Hayakukoma never ceased kutoka kwenye gereza from the prison alisauliwa he was forgotten lakini mungu hajamsahau but god never forgot him siku moja one day hekima yake his wisdom ilimfikisha mbele ya mungu made him to be to go in front of the king na maono yake and his vision yakakamilika was perfect was fulfilled mwambie jirani yako when the enemy comes like a flood do ya kija kama mawimbi kama garika the spirit of the lord roa bwana Lift up a standard. Atainua viwango. Kwa hiyo matatizo ni faida. Therefore problems it's a benefit. Matatizo ni faida. Problems is a plus. Maana hayo matatizo because these problems ukishikilia imani if you hold on to faith kugeuka faida. They will turn into benefits. Walio kuita tasa those who called you barren watakuja kuona. They will come to see. Na wewe hautajificha tena. And you will not hide anymore. Utawaambia you will tell him nje muone. Come and see. 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 Come and When the enemy comes, do ya kija like a flood. Kama mawimbi, kama garika. The spirit of the Lord. Roa bwana. Lift up a standard. Atainua viwango. My message is. Ujumbe wangu ni huu. Raising a standard. Kuinua viwango. Extend your faith. Ebu panua imani yako. God will lift up a standard. Mungu atainua viwango. At the end of the day. Lakini mwisho wa siku. Utajikuta ni faida tupo. You find it's full of benefits. Bibilia inasema The Bible says. Hawezi kumbuke habari za Ayubu. Don't you remember about Job? Mateso aliyopitia. The sufferings he went through. Lakini alivyovumilia. But when he persevered. Akapewa maradufu. He was given na faida juu. And even benefits on top of that. Sisi shida yetu wa Our problem we Christians. Tukipata matatizo tunachanganyikiwa. If we get problems you are confused. Ama tunazama na hizo garika. Oh we drowned with Lakini, those uh, floods. But we hata kama Samson pamoja na madhaifu yake. Even like Samson together with his weaknesses. Mara nini mara nini. Lakini but he nguvu za Mungu zikimshika. If the power of God comes upon him. Atachana chana. He will destroy. Usiangalie wafilistia waliokuzingira. Do not look unto the Philistines around you. And the things they are doing against you. Kazania imani yako tu. Just get hold on to your faith. Kazania imani yako. Get hold on to your faith. Hapo ndio biashara yako itapata faida. That's where your business will get benefits and profits. Usiangalie umri. Don't look unto age. Usiangalie sura. Don't look unto face. Usiangalie jinsia. Don't look unto gender. Usiangalie uko mgeni. Don't look whether you are a visitor or a foreigner or a black or a white or old. All these are the things that will cause people to come and run to see what has happened. Yo. Ningejua kama ndaeleza habari zilizonipasua roho If I would have known that, I would explain about the things that really made my heart to be troubled, the things that faced me in a foreign land. I would not have been happy. I would not have agreed. But in the wisdom of God, He's telling you the things you see, the things you're hearing, the things you're going through. Speak. I would have been afraid. 
But I get hold on to faith. I know the benefits ahead. I know the nations. They will stumble for the things we have seen. We've seen with our own eyes. We've heard with our own ears. We were not told by any human neither by the angel but through his own mouth he spoke one day nations will tremble and a singer sang Lift up your hands. Start to tell him. Jehovah. Jehovah. Will remember me. Nikumbuke mimi. Jehovah. Jehovah. Will remember me. Ata nikumbuka. And when he remembers. Na ata kapo kumbuka. He will graciously gives me. Ata kupa kwa neema tell. For the glory of his holy name. Kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lake takatifu. Anza kuomba. Start to pray. Lift up your voice and start to pray. Tell Jehovah that he will remember you. Hallelujah. God who graciously gives me. Yes. Oh, 